I'm here with the Bar Stop Boys. I mean, they, they are doing incredibly well. We've all seen their videos out there. So today, we're going to ask them one or two questions. First, what be your name? Well, Joe Safo. Hey, please, your name? Yeah, I'll be Nana Safo. So please, why Bar Stop Boys? Uh, Bar Stop Boys, because we want to send a message to everybody who knows the Bar Stop. And to be able to reach them, to, for the message to reach out to everybody, but that rich or poor, we needed a name that resonates with everybody. And you know, bus stops, everybody knows what the bus stops are. And the bus stop also depicts our nature. If you are clean or dirty, the bus stop is the easiest place for any visitor to start drawing his conclusions. So yes, the bus stop is for the best to get to whoever we need to speak to. Okay, so what has been your challenges throughout this journey? Uh, I would say the mindset. You know, the youth still believe that there is sanitation ministry, there is president, there's assembly. But we're also saying that regardless of all these people, when there's an outbreak of disease or even flooding, you and I are always at the mercy of the Lord. So let's forget about who is leader and who is not. Let's help ourselves. Let's get a mindset of, you know, a mindset that puts us in charge. That points his fingers at anybody. So the biggest challenge is the mindset of the Ghanaian. Yes. So boss, what made you join this project? What made you join this project? What year did I join this project? What made you join? Okay, so um, um, he, he's the leader and I'm the vice leader. You understand? So um, he, he came to me and he explained things to me how he wanted to be done. All about his dreams. And well, like I just gave him, I just supported him and, and, and just did that. Yeah. So please, can you throw it out there like if you need any support? Because people are watching us right now. Yeah, we need support a lot, you know. Uh, for me, I look at, I go online, I watch how other countries are doing it, and I feel like we can do same here. So from pressure washer, from street sweeper, all the equipment, tools and equipment that will aid us to do the same thing the Americans, the Canadians are doing. If you can only assist, assist us with them, we be grateful. Hand gloves, handheld power, overalls, and the, and the change of mindset, that is also another form of support. If you change your mindset and, you know, and nobody litters the environment any longer, then you are making the work easier, not just for me, but for the whole country at large. So that, that's basically a few of the things that we do. Okay, so present a message to those who want to join Bastard Boys. Well, any, if you want to join Bastard Boys, you are more than welcome. If you are far from Accra, it is all about changing the mindset and changing the narrative. Like the youth and them right these days, arise Ghana youth for your country. So wherever you are, you can also arise, not just in sanitation, but there's a lot of problems and all the problems are opportunities for us to change or solve the problems and then of course, you know, make some game or make some money for ourselves. So let's look at Ghana holistically, all the problems that are around us. Let's begin thinking because Mark Sugarbesh was trying to unite a few friends on the, on the platform and it is Facebook today. Somebody was trying to reach the distance between a crime and Kumasi and there is very true. So let's begin thinking solution. And I believe we can make it as a people. Thank you very much.